still preparing. But I ordered eel noodles. Yeah. It's like a delicacy here in Thailand, so I wanted to try it before I leave. Oh, good morning, by the way. <laughs> Last day in Thailand before I go to Kaohsiung. I got it. I got eel and noodles and onions and like a little piece of cabbage. Cool story. to go but they have food here too that looks good I don't know what panda bubble means is it in the shape of a panda there's also white bubble fresh milk tea what oh shit the origin of bubble tea oh my god I'm so excited so the panda bubble tea is like half bubble half that's so cute. That design is so pretty. Wow. So I think there's a big bubble and a small bubble. I think the big bubble is like the black one, and the smaller one is the white one. You can't see it because the container is not transparent. But um, can you see? Can you see it through the straw? But you no, know, this is really good. I like it. It's fun. Like the difference between like the mixture between like a big bubble and a small bubble. It was a really cute um, cafe back there with the plants. It looks so good. Now I'm going to go to the Hayashi department store. It was built during the Japanese colonial period. I think they said it's the first department store in Taiwan. I was reading about it. it was, there was a cute story about how like, when they were a kid, their parents used to take them just to ride on the elevators because that was like a new thing. Oh, that's so cute. It was open on December 5th, 13, 1932. Symbol of Taiwan's modernization. The five-story house. First fashion department with elevators in the area of Yiwu, Tainan. in southern Taiwan that had a modern elevator operated by elevator girls. Okay. I see why people like that. Okay. Get to the top. Is a shinto. Shine up there.
the fifth floor with unique cuisine. Japanese colonial period. Marks of World War II. It was bombed by America's air raid. Floors were destroyed. Marks and bullet holes left on the facade of Hayashi Department Store were repaired during the restoration. There's more bullet holes. You can see it on the top too. Okay, okay. Must be more. I think his girlfriend shopping or something. I don't know. This is a culture or someone. I'm not sure what that means. Cafe, living art, when music. I like it. What is that? A broken elevator? Oh, it is a broken elevator. Yeah, this is the elevator from back then. Scratch tiles. Is that from the... Oh, it's from the door? So cute. That's actually really funny. Lucky blooming growth. Came back up just to take the elevator elevator back down. <laughs> One goodbye. Oh, did she wanna come in? Um, no. Oh awkward opened it back for no reason goodbye bye i'm just by myself now last elevator ride this is the dial hello hello again open sesame oh. i'm not sure what this is i think it's a library but there's students painting outside, which is pretty cool.
Are they having another photo shoot? What? Dang, this place is popular. Photo shoots. So happy for these couples. It's so cute. Where is Guangdong? Borderline, it's not like you know? Yes, it's like you know? Yes, it's like you know? Yes, it's like you know? That grandpa was so cute. He gave me a poem. I'm not sure I understand what it means, but I will improve my Chinese. And he was explaining it to me, but I kind of forgot. He was really nice. As soon as I walk in, he was like, where are you from? And then we just started talking. He drew a poem about the little prince with Li Bai's poem. It's like under the moon, missing the hometown, something like that. Yeah, it's really cute, but that's not for sale. He's giving it to his son because his son really likes like drawing aliens. Oh, was, that was fun. ancient in musical instrument in the shape of a tiger with 27 teeth on the back. The musician hits its head three times first then brushes the teeth on the back three times at the end of an orchestra. What? That's weird. But okay. So these are ancient instruments. Fu drum, yang drum, yang drum, lute. A four-string Chinese instrument belonging to the plug category of, of instruments with a pear-shaped wooden body. My name. Taking the train to Taiwan. Oh, my God.